Louisiana, home to a unique and invasive species known as the Nutria. Also called Nutria, these large semi-aquatic rodents have caused significant damage to the state's wetlands and coastal ecosystems. Originally brought to Louisiana for their fur, Nutria quickly spread and now pose a significant threat to the state's wildlife and natural resources. Despite efforts to control their population, Nutria continued to thrive in Louisiana, which brought me and my buddy Frank to head on out and do our part and put a little dent in the population. After which, I cooked a couple up to make some delicious Nutria tacos. All right, guys, we made it to the spot. <laughs> hey, Zach. Oh, I'm gonna do this again because the camera wasn't recording. All right, guys, we made it to the spot. We're actually on public land and it is still waterfowl season. So we can't use 22s like I like to do. Uh, we got to use steel shot. So that's what I got in the gun. Um, I'm gonna try and walk y'all through everything we do today. I've tried to do that in the past, but I have a medical condition doctors like to call excitement and I forget. All right, for example, if y'all can see right there, that's a little trail where they come and slide in as well as that little trail right there. They walking right there on the edge of the water. So they got them out here. They got tons of them out here. It's just whether or not they're going to be uh, where we can see them. I did bring my hip waders this time. So if uh, I got to go tromping through the marsh, uh, hopefully we won't fill up the boots like uh, last time. So. I just seen one going into those, uh, that cut grass. I need to get my hip waders on. He's going like straight ahead as high where he went. And you can see the trails. Yeah, he's probably way up in there by now. Yeah, you can see, you see there's trails going right here. They're going up in there. There's probably a whole bunch of them living up in here, but I mean, they're an invasive species, so we can hunt them under power in that boat. So. You know, there really ain't no need to be going, uh, tromping up and through there. We can shoot him right off the bank while we're moving, you know? Woo! That guy saw. I only got my grundings on. We ain't trying to get wet feet this early. Something got eaten right here. Yep, that's rabbit. That's rabbit fur. Dang, Jada. I think that's rabbit. Oh, well, maybe not. I don't know what that is. It almost looks like coon tail maybe here's some bone here taste that see what it tastes like swimming across the canal huh? swimming across the canal he just dove He shot right in front of him. He flipped like I hit him. That's because you scared the mess out of him. <laughs> He's gonna come up on in them lilies, watch. Oh yeah, you got him. Did I put another one in him? Nah, he's done. There we go, that's one down. Give me some of that. <laughs> Got a little red Kool-Aid everywhere, but uh, good eye, good eye. Oh, dude. There. In there. Hold on. There's a whole nest of them in there. Uh, oh, there's one, is there one right there on that uh, island? There's a bunch in that island. Uh, I'm trying to think of what I want to do. Oh well, just take them out, I guess. All right, hold up. That was easy. All right, let's get up in there and see what we got. Just be ready, because there might be a few. Oh. There 
you go. That one's going on the smoker. Yeah, look, you can see the little trails yeah. that they've been taking. All right, now. All right, now. Yeah, let me see. I might be able to go get that one without uh. We'll pull these on up though. I know that. Make sure. We might have peppered the out of him. That's a big one. Look at that. Cool. That's probably the female. Yep. Look, grab that wad right there. Oh, grab the wad. Yeah. Always trying to keep it clean, man. Pick up the shells when we can. Oh. That fish? Yeah. A lot of bass are part. Is that one on the bank? Yeah. Oh, come on, huh? Thought you said you was getting better at shooting. I was. Look, he's out. Shoot. <laughs> Ain't no telling where he's gonna pop up now. Sometimes all they do is stick their nose up in these lilies to breathe. All right, that was my bad. You think? <laughs> That's why I didn't put the shot cam on the shotgun. You as good at shooting nutrients, I'm as good at shooting ducks. <laughs> Ain't no telling where he's gonna pop up. He can pop up way over there. And nothing. Look at this. Wonder if somebody shot him and left him or something else happened to him. So There's usually the hot bank right here. Hold tight, we're gonna run up on that and see if they come out. I'm just gonna run right into it and then see if they scatter. If there's any in there. Wonder how soft that is. Yeah, I hope so, because I'm going right. Yeah, no, that's too soft for me to want to do this. I'm not going to do this. Ugh. There he is. That second shot was just in case. <laughs> I thought there had to be one up in there, man. That looked like a too good of a spot. Keep your eye out though, because he probably ain't the only one. All right, let me get, a, get over there. Woo, that ground feel a little bit more better. All right, let me go grab him. I was going to step off and go grab him. I got it. I got it, man. Oh, that All was, right, Lucas. That was kind of brave. I'm going to be jumping <laughs> just before, before I tested it out. When I pulled the trigger, it, the, the shot didn't feel right. That's why I heard it popped off again, but I seen him roll, but my brain and my hand weren't communicating fast enough and I pulled the trigger again. <laughs> All right. Woo, that's another big one, man. Not doing too bad. Oh, Jesus. That dude moves. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> dude. Dude. <laughs> I mean, he's dead. He ain't breathing, but he had a—he had some kind of nerve reflex and and jump. And I, oh my lord, <laughs> bro, <laughs> life flashed in front of my eyes. That'll get your blood pumping. <laughs> but there's gonna be one straight ahead. He just went down. He's about 50, 50 to 75. Look, you seen him? He's moving straight in that little tuft of grass right to the right of us. About 40 yards away, a little hill. See him? Yep. Wait, I'll get closer.
two, three, four, five. What, I got three, huh? Yeah. Oh, there's another one right there. Number six, three for you, three for me. And uh, yeah, we still on the first uh, bank, really. Savannah, bro, just put your finger in his mouth. He'll, he'll let you know if he's dead or not. That's six. Saving a marsh and making dinner. Making groceries. Nope. You stoned him. Hey, you know, you know they had to suck for him. He didn't even know what hit him. He was taking a nap, bro, and you just... That's how I want to go, though. Yeah. I don't want to slow death. I just want to be either eating or taking a nap, and then uh, that's it, you know? Nice and peaceful, like. Yeah, you can see right there, they're definitely up in that. Flattening all of that out. Ah, I think I missed him. He was in the water, so I didn't have much of a head to shoot at. That's my excuse anyway. Well, no, I think he was just diving. One right there. Oh, there, there's one. Come on, give me your head. Oh, you little sucker. Oh, there he is. Nope. There it is. Oh, bro. What? Okay, hold on. Somehow, when I turned the key off, I pulled the key out. <laughs> I don't know where it's at. Oh, God, I hope it didn't go in the water. Okay, neutral hunting is on hold. We gotta find a key. I don't know how to jump start this thing. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. We're good. Oh my goodness. I don't like that, dude. Y'all can see right there, I got all I got is my little my key. It don't have my little float on it. Like I normally got because uh the bucket that I usually put in and out my boat that's got all like my GPS, my little fish finder thing, and all that was in the bucket, and that bucket's in my shed. Cause I forgot it. Good thing I keep a spare key in my Jeep so I can still go out when I forget my key, cause you know, obviously that has, that ain't the first time that happened though. No. Yeah, so I took a shot at that neutral. He was already in the water and it's hard to get him when only this much of their head sticking out of the water. So that's my excuse for that. I missed him. And then uh, I'm assuming that's the same one that we just took out. Uh, he just probably turned on the water and started going heading towards that little bush over there. And when we go pick him up, chances are there might be another one in there. That's probably where he stays. You, know, you can see right here, they got a little tunnel in the grass right there. That's where he's going in at. They'll stay on them little patches like that. Eat the roots, all the grass. You forgot to go get your nutrient. Did I? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jeez, um. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, fellas, but, uh. Yeah, forgot to pick up the nutrient. Thanks to Frank for reminding me, or, uh, <laughs> we'd have been at, back at the marina wondering why we only had nine. I didn't even see him. Oh, oh, on the bank, on the bank. 
All right, hold on. Get back on safety. Trying not to throw the key out this time. He was right here. I just saw him moving. Yeah, he's probably he's probably frozen in the grass. Last time I was walking, he just found a little spot and they just stopped. He was like right up in here. All right, let me go see how soft this is. It's actually not bad. You might be able to get out here with your uh. So step right up in this area. Oh yeah, go ahead and step on the neutral. He's gonna bite my foot off. Look, there he is. Let him come out because I don't want to. There he is. Pop him. Dang, that sucker quick. that's crazy that's the first time that's ever happened to me that dude was right here <laughs> like he <laughs> that's amazing dude i wonder how many could be in here and we'll never know because they just tucked up under some grass i think i missed him. <laughs> well yeah that was a a fast shot and he was diving as you shot that's uh that was intense bro i just knew that sucker was gonna come out and chew on my boot he beat him to death with your shotgun <laughs> i'd have been dead i'd have had a heart attack yeah here's your shield all right, this is where they usually have a lot of them. Woo, scared the crap out of me. Did you get it? Yeah, you got him. I think you got two. <laughs> I think you shot two. You see it? I don't see it. He's right up in there. One of them's dead right there. Yeah, the other one's still... I see movement, I'm just trying to find his head. Woo! Woo! Them three and a half kick, cuz. Well, that's my limit, y'all. Frank took his limit home. Yes, that's right. There is a limit on these invasive species. I don't quite understand it either, but if you want to hear it explained, actually, make sure you subscribe to our uh, podcast, which will be kicking off here uh, pretty shortly. I was waiting until the holidays got passed. I'll record the podcast live, and then we put it on wherever podcasts are listened to across all them platforms. But I'll have a fur bear biologist on there explaining why. It has to do with something with uh, how some people sell tails and black market stuff. I don't, I don't really understand it all but just make sure you're uh, looking for that but i'm gonna uh, go ahead and cook up one of these bad boys as soon as we get them cleaned up i think i feel like eating some tacos yeah probably do some tacos stay tuned nutria tacos all right here we go guys look so what i did was i soaked these for a couple days marinate them in uh some red kool-aid i'm just kidding this is the brine that i put together it's just salt water and a bunch of slap your mama seasoning and of course the blood leached out from sitting in the refrigerator over two days yeah two days because i'm on a time crunch i'm not going to do this exactly the way i would normally do it normally i would do this in the brine pull it out dry it off put a whole bunch of seasoning on it like a rub put it in the smoker for about two hours and then bring it over here to the pressure cooker but we're going to skip the whole smoker thing because we're on a time crunch I just said that. So all I did is I got a little dab of Duya oil in the bottom of this Instapot. By the way, if y'all don't have an Instapot, man, that's fantastic. Yeah, you might want to look into getting one. I'm not sponsored, but dude, love this thing. So I'm just putting in this here. Look at that. That garlic, some onion, and some uh, celery. I'm going to put this up in there and saute. Listen to that. We're going to do what them chefs call sweating them vegetables. Mmm, smelling good already. Now again, if I had the time and didn't want to put it in the smoker, I would brown the meat in there first on saute and all of that. But again, we're hurrying up. So this is going to taste absolutely fantastic. It's just not going to taste the most fantastic er that it could if I had the time. I'll tell y'all what, I lied a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit of this and try and brown it a little bit at the bottom because what I want is that little burnt stuff at the bottom of the 
out of five. They got a they got a name for that. I think it's like a Cajun name for that or something. I don't remember what it is. Ooh, woo. That's what I want. Get a little burnt stuff at the bottom of the pot, and then when we add our beef stock, it's just gonna pull that out. Just ooh, so much flavor. All right, we got a little bit of what we're looking for. Now, the older your Nutra is, the longer it's gonna take to cook and to get tender. I don't know how old this one was. I forgot to check the ID. But well, we're gonna slap him in there. This one, on the other hand, we gotta watch because we're gonna be cooking this one a long time, and this little T Bay right there probably gonna fall apart, bones and everything. So we're gonna have to look out for that as we go. Now that that's in there, I'm gonna put some uh, sweet heat for your meat. I got from my buddy Frank. I don't know exactly where he got this stuff from, but boy, I tell you what, got a little sweet, got a little heat, all delicious. And then we're gonna get this slap your mama's any kind of Cajun Creole seasoning you want. Get a lot of that up in there, because that's what I'm talking about. And then of course, I like Montreal steak grill made season. You ain't gotta get crazy. You could have just put the Cajun seasoning and been good to go, but then I'm gonna fill it with beef broth. You can use chicken broth. Mm -hmm. I hope that's enough or we're gonna be mixing it with chicken broth I got up front. Let's see, we might be able to, nope, mm-mm, mm-hmm, mm -mm. nope, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There we go, sink it in there a little bit. That's all we gotta do is get it, get it touching. Because the pressure cooker is going to steam up and cook it anyway. I just want the flavor to be getting in there while I was doing it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. We, we can deal with that. We can deal with that. And then we're going to slap this. Whoop, where's that? Slap the lid on. Let's do 35. What the heck? We're living on the wild side. On high. And we're going to start it. Now we're going to let that cook. I'm going to heat up the taco shells. Get their little fixings together, and I'll pick you back up when, uh, you know. All right, let's see what this thing looks like. Let's make sure it's tender enough. I'm gonna get a little grabbers. Oh, yeah. Looks like, ooh, that little one's falling apart for sure. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, that's gonna be good. All right, so all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take me some shells. Instead of lettuce, we're gonna use some coleslaw, a little bit of cabbage. I'm gonna take a little meat. I'm gonna put some meat on that, and neutral meat. Now that we got all the meat on there, we're gonna put a little bit of dab of do yeah, this here. Pick a pepper sauce. A couple drip drops on that. And then no taco is complete without some uh, sour cream. Ooh, ooh, look at that, look at that. Oh yeah, let me do this so I don't make a mess. Oh boy, I'll tell you what, that's good, yeah. They may be ugly, they may be nasty looking, but they sure are delicious and they got to go. So get out there, shoot some Nutria, cook some Nutria, eat some Nutria. They're delicious. You're not gonna bite me, are you? Can't tell if that's just land or neutral. Yep, there's a whole bunch of them. Go! Cool. <laughs> you see how many? Come on, girl. All right. Are we out of gas? Just called Sea Tail. They're gonna be about an hour out, so that uh, leaves an hour. So why not make this a catch clean cook on the boat? Hi, Making Bone Gang. It's that time again. That's right. We're going to go out, save the marsh while making groceries. Go ahead and uh, shoot a rat because we eat that. You know what I'm saying? It's time to go Nutra hunting. Beautiful weather for it. Clear blue skies. It's in the 40s, which uh, my experience has been the best time to go uh, shoot some Nutra. And water seems to be pretty low, which is also great. That means they're going to probably be on the edge of the bank, maybe even swimming around. So uh, let's not waste any time. Let's go get some. Frank. Yeah. Jump in that hole real quick. See if you can run one out of there. I, I was I was kidding, Frank. Oh. 
Boy, I crap out a gold brick if one ran out right now. <laughs> right in the boat. Get a, death, get a crap out of me, I tell you what. There's a bunch of sign right here. You can see that hole that they're coming in and out of. Got these little trails all up through here. They're all over the place, so. And yeah, by the way, we got Frank with us. I don't know if I mentioned that, but uh, still waterfowl season once again. So we still use shotguns, but that's going to be coming to a close, unfortunately, here soon. And uh, then we're doing the 22s, which we both both prefer so and make sure y'all stay uh tuned subscribe if you haven't because we got a nutra rodeo coming up that's going to be a blast there's going to be a lot of nutra a lot of nutra uh meeting their maker and filling my belly on that trip that was definitely fire well all of that was burned yeah yeah all of that burned that's healthy for it though He hit the bank already? He was close to it. Probably got a few up in here. Got all kinds of little roads in there. I know. Nothing took off? Nope, nothing took off. We got a ton of rows through that cut grass though. Hey, tunnels everywhere. Hi. I wonder if that fire pushed them away though. Well, maybe. Unless they all ran through this because of the fire, but I mean, that's not really that burnt right there. I mean, not all of that's still good. Yeah. All right, moving on. All right, let's see if you can't get the one you missed last time right here. Yeah. Well, come on, huh? Thought you said you was getting better at shooting. Nice. Oh, look, right there. Go, oh, come on, he was already dead. <laughs> All right, where's he at? Right there. Oh, I see him. That's crazy with me. Like we literally passed that 30 seconds ago. All right. That's two in a row. All right, we gotta go get that other one. The one that's gonna look like Swiss cheese probably. They just want a, a baby one. Unless that was a muskrat. Oh, it might have just been a bird. Never mind. That might have been a gallon running in there. Yeah, that's what that is. Or is it? It's either gallon or baby neutral running in that uh, hole. I mean, I don't know. I know they don't look that much alike, but I couldn't tell. Perfect hole. I'm about to say, you can tell they've been chilling on that. Nice little hut. That's where I'd be chilling. And no. Come on now. What you trying to do? Go for a swim. You like to give me a heart attack. I didn't know what was going on. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, go ahead. That's gonna be a little one. Maybe not. Hold on. Good eye, good eye. Might have to grab something to grab him. Yeah, you got him. Yeah, grab his tail, make sure. <laughs> yeah, it's three. They're not very big. That's actually kind of small. But that's all right.
Did you hit him? <laughs> hit him again, hit in the head. There you go. Alright, hold on, we're trying to jump on that photon at least. Yeah, I see him. Yeah, I seen him go. Go ahead and grab the net, and I'm uh, I'm gonna keep an eye out right there. <laughs> Gotcha. Yeah, he was uh kind of hiding right there behind that thing. That was quick and easy. I like it like that. From your gun. Yeah. Loud, huh? Maybe right, because of these ported it's holes, the, it's it's shooting it sideways. Side. Yeah. I didn't hear nothing. Yeah, buddy. Tell you what, though, they're not uh. Not as big as they sometimes get. There's a couple way up in there. At least one of them. I just don't know. I don't know. I could get all the way over there. You see him? I don't know how I would even get up in there. Because I don't know how thick that is. I don't know about you, but I ain't getting out the boat to push if we get stuck. That looks like a big one too. Is that something right there to the right? I see a little dark spot. Like here? Yeah, uh, a little bit further to the right. See what that little gallon who's going in at? Right in front of that. Can't tell if that's just land or neutral. Yep, there's a whole bunch of them. Oh, you see how many? Good Lord! They gonna be popping out somewhere. Was that five of them? Something like that. Jeez, them. Man, we came up, them things scattered, dude. They were all in this little patch right here. You can see the indention. Yeah, there's another one on that thing, but ain't no way I can get to that. Where at? That island I was talking about right oh, there? Yeah. That little tree on it? That's a big one. Dead gone. I wasn't sure that was them until they started moving. Just looked like a pile of grass or dirt. That's the little island. Right there, that all four of them, at least four of them. I don't know how well y'all can see it in the uh, GoPro. And then if you can see that little island right there, they got two big ones on there. I can see in the binoculars. But I can't get to them. There's too much, uh, too many lilies and grass and all kind of stuff up in there. I ain't no telling. I end up getting stuck and I ain't getting out to push, you know? So they'll be around next time though. That's a big one. But yeah, we up to what we got, six now? No, a five. Five or six. You're halfway to a limit. Well, I think there's one right there. Straight ahead. Is that one? No? My bad, it's just dirt. It was the right color. Take this one right there. Was that? Oh, I killed the motor. All right, 
your turn to step on the grass. Because right. I'm pretty sure he just took off right up in this hole, huh? And it goes through here. You want to press on it with the net? Yeah. <laughs> What's the matter? You don't want to get your shoe chewed on? I don't think he went much further. I hit that full of tongue. You missed that one. You missed again? Don't shoot, wait. I, didn't even see him. I wanted to get just ahead. That's a different one. Yeah. That one, he was still chilling. The other one's gonna come up soon. Some way, probably might come across here too. You gotta, ain't no telling where he's gonna come up at. I was trying to let you catch up on the count. Yeah, that's what I would've said. That's the kind of stuff I say when I miss. You see him? Yep. Oh, that was loud. Did I hit him? I think so. I don't see him running, I just see him. All right, hold on. Or not. Hold on to hold on. Come on, girl. All right. Are we out of gas? Shouldn't be. No. What in the Sam Hill? I know she's getting old, but man, come on. Alright, we gotta go on operator error. Be like that sometimes. So apparently it's a uh, it's not operator error and uh she won't stay running. So I guess I'm gonna use the strawler motor to go pick up those nutri we just shot. And then uh I guess after that we gotta figure out how we're gonna get home. Maybe that airplane will give us a ride. Make sure this works. Okay, we good. The thing is, this ain't no mud motor, uh, trawler motor. We're gonna have to push pull probably the rest of the way. Where's the other one? I see that one. Did we pass it up? Is that it in the grass right there? I think that's it. Nope, that's as far as she goes. Oh. Have him get the uh, push pull before we drift back across. Oh Lord, Lord have mercy! I'm trying. We're drifting. Uh, what is the deal? No, stop. Uh. This is dumb. Come it, come it. All right, we're gonna have to rethink this. You want to push us in a little bit further? If you think you can from the back. Yeah, probably. Heave! Oh yeah. <laughs> Might be able to reach him. Oh yeah, give me that net. Before I take a swim. Make sure the GoPro's on. It's on. Alright. Come on. Come on. Alright. There we go. Alright. Yep. Yeah. Well. Keep that momentum going. Man, you bent my pole. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, oh my gosh. <sighs> yeah, tell you what, take this big camera back there and set it back in the bucket because I don't need that taking a swim. I can't afford to fix the boat and get a new camera. 
Mata should have came in. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh God, it hurt. That was my knee. Oh, jeez. Um, yeah, let's go Nutra hunting. It'd be great. Is that Nutra turds? Is that what that looks like? I think so. All right. Hey, hold that again. Oh, I'm sure glad that wasn't soft because that would suck to have a broke boat and wet socks. You're not going to bite me, are you? Okay, good. Think I got him. Heave! Ho! Mush, Frank. Mush. Uh-oh. <laughs> a little thick. You need to try and push on the back of the boat? Yeah. You're doing a great job, Frank. Maybe you can get a little bit closer. If you can. Oh, yeah. You the man, Frank. Oh, oh geez. All right. All right, we good. All right, well, that was a uh, uh, number eight for us. We we're just kind of, kind of drifting with the current, you know, moving in nice and silent, like, because still having issues with the motor. This is what she's doing. I mean, she'll start up, kind of. Sometimes she'll stay idle, but as soon as you put any gas to it, she kind of put, 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 putters out, and and that's it. So looks like we're gonna probably gonna have to call C2. Good thing I pay for a C2 membership because we had to call somebody to come tow us out without one. It's high dollar. Not sponsored, by the way. But C2. Maybe we can work something out. I do uh, happen to break down from time to time. Oh, she made me a lot. And that's it. That, that's that's what she does. Let me know in the comments uh, what you think it is. All right, little update. Uh, motor's still not running. Just called C2. They're going to be about an hour out. So that uh, leaves an hour. Still actually have two Nutra that we could shoot. So the gun's still loaded. We're going to putt putt to the entrance. And then, uh, you know, me and Frank getting a little hungry. So why not make this a catch clean cook? on the boat so i'm gonna give this knife to frank let him cut out some back straps of a fresh one uh we're gonna fry it up in a little pan i don't think i have any seasoning though so there's that oh yes yes we'll slap your mama heck yeah we're golden baby a little creole seasoning all right we got a little back strap cleaned up you can see right there, a little bit of slap your mama's on there. Get it all nice and seasoned up. I have no idea how good this is going to taste. Usually when I cook Nutra, it's low and slow or in a pressure cooker. All right, a little bit of spray. About to go in the weeds. Turn, turn, wrong button, turn. There we go. Put this on there like that. Ooh, birds are screaming. Missed the hair. I don't want that on there. Oop, about to run in the thing again. Maybe I should let you steer. <laughs> Do a little flippage. Woo, woo. It's cooking up now. It blackened. It blackened Nutra. Might be a little too hot. Turn that fire down a little bit. I can't see the flame though. So if you want to support the channel and help me uh, pay to get this boat fixed, go ahead and go to shoppelicanboneoutdoors.com, get you one of these uh, Pelican Bone camo sweatshirts, got some hats, just like this one. Or you can just uh, hit the subscribe button, tell all your friends to hit the subscribe button. All right, that looks about as done as it needs to be, I reckon. We can cut it open. As you can see, it kind of looks like a little bit of pork right there. Ooh, that's still hot, yeah. I didn't turn the stove off, but that pan's still hot. My God. Oh, that smells way better than the last time. Bro. Oh, bro. Hey, give me that camera. That ain't bad. No, taste that. That's good. Got a little hint of game, maybe. That ain't bad. Mm-hmm. I could live on that. All right, now we just, uh... Waiting for old Cito again. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this while waiting.
can see we made it back safe and sound. By the time we got the boat all loaded up, made it back clean and neutral, took care of all the other things I had to take care of around the house, like the dogs and stuff. Uh, it was dark. That's why this outro is uh, the very next day. So I got to figure out what's wrong with the boat now. Uh, hopefully I don't have to pay to get it fixed. Hopefully it's something I can do myself, but I can't stay down too long. Even though, I mean, I could do bank fishing and kayak stuff. I just, uh, you know, like my boat, especially during the winter time. We're down here at Venice Marina, all the way at the end of the earth for the Nutria Rodeo. That's an alligator, cuz. Please don't shoot that. Oh, you seen the fish jump? Yep. Them, no, no. Hi, Mickey Bone Gang. We have an adventure going on today. We're down here at Venice Marina, all the way at the end of the earth for the Nutria Rodeo. The Nutria Safari Roundup Shoot 'em Up Rodeo. I don't know whatever they're calling it. But uh, it's, it's gonna be a wild ride. Surprisingly, there's not that many people out right now. A lot of charter boats and stuff, but you can see that uh, that airboat, there's gonna be a lot of those running around. So what it is, 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 if you've seen any of my uh, Nutra videos before, we could only shoot five uh, per person on the piece of public land that we hunt. But out here, we're gonna be able to shoot as many as we want. We have our trapper license, which allows us to do that. And Nutra are a nuisance. And they're tearing this place apart. So they put on this thing, and I think, what, thousands get shot every year, get taken to help protect the marsh, and uh, they just keep reproducing, and they're just everywhere. So we're going to help out while having ourselves a good time. Yeah. So we got Frank with us. We got Josh with us. Hey. And then Bella's about to hop out the truck in a second. Bella, 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 Bella. You should go girl. Anyway, we're about to head out, about to launch the boat, go get some nutra, check out the place if we can see anything with all this falling. And then, uh... When we get back, we unload them, and then uh, there's supposed to be a bunch of festivities going on, a band, a little Cajun band, maybe. You know, I'll show y'all that when we get there. But let me get this boat in the water. We'll go pass ourselves a good time. See, that's where they they coming in and out right there. And I see some slides. They in there. I don't know. Late morning. I think the water might the water might be a little high too. Well, I don't know. You can see the bank right there, so I don't know. I don't know, man. I ain't never been out here. But see, like, that's a look. That's a tunnel right there. Yeah, we could have passed a hundred of them and didn't see them. Look, see, that's definitely a trail right there. Yeah. Right here. Yep. was a big dude. All right, well, we know what it looks like now, boys. Gotta get on the ready. Get on the ready. I'd say it's close. I think I hit it, huh? <laughs> I think it's close, cuz. <laughs> so if I... Right That's an alligator, cuz. Please don't shoot that. In the water? Oh, yeah. That's an alligator. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Please don't shoot that. Oh Lord have mercy. <laughs> yeah, I'm trigger ready, babe. Always identify your target. Look, it's like a little house for them right there. Why, why, why wouldn't they be there? New, new house. A little neutral house. A little new house. I'm gonna get down down there to the house. That's where I would be. Let me know if I'm about to hit a sandbar. It's shallow. Yeah, I know. There should be a cut through right here though. Oh. Scraping bottom already. But it also died. Yeah. Freaking poo drives. It's a no power reverse right now. <laughs> How long are you waiting for that Oh, probably all morning. He's probably laying down in bed last night. Ooh, I can't wait to see that. I think when we get this thing started, we're going to go back and get your boat. Let's do it, baby. I ain't got no, it won't be mad at that. Come on, look, look, look. All you gotta do is say, come on, girl. You know, you know. Come on, little drive. You talk to it in like a little Cajun. Little food drive. Oh, man, Shaq, come on, T-Bell. We're gonna just get a little start. Yeah, we're gonna go down the bar a little way. As I said, it's a good time. Yeah, we yeah. need you to bring us back now. That sounded Jamaican. <laughs> 
Woo, she wants to. Come on, baby. We're gonna go put you up so you can go take a nap. So we're back at Venice Marina. This time we have Josh's boat. The gator trash. Well, I ain't gonna say that. I ain't gonna say that. She's still she's still running, but that poodra having some trouble. About to launch this thing, get back out there, and actually try and try and get a couple of them. Clean nothing up back now. I'm shooting, boy. Uh, All right, well, we in the spot now, boys. We're gonna oh, yeah. see what Actually, we can do. How hard can it be to find a rat? Out here, apparently, pretty difficult. Apparently, pretty hard. Yeah, see, look, they eating all that behind that. It looks like to me. See, I wonder if, like, in the morning, if this would be the it right looks thing. Like they devoured this shit yeah. Recently. I mean, it might just be like everything else that takes a nap in the evening when it's hot like that. Because when it's cold, they, they sunning. Right. I mean, when, when it's hot outside, do you want to eat all day? Yeah. All right, guys, we went back in the same parking lot. Things aren't going exactly uh, how we planned it. Didn't shoot any nutrient today, but we're going to check out these festivities, and we still have all day tomorrow to try and catch some, uh, get some of them nutrients. So let's go check out. Oh, they got themselves a Cajun Zodico Bam. We'll go check that out and see what other kind of festivities we got going on. <laughs> the next day of course and uh, we already saw one neutral but we wasn't ready yet we just got off a plane and uh you know no guns Still loaded <laughs> so <laughs> just not off the plane off of plane you know what i mean that's a nice rope dude they got a ton of trails through here yeah that's a lot of neutral feet prints feet prints <laughs> yeah that's a big old neutral look at the size of that pole print right Come on. It's slick. It's slick, boys. <coughs> Way back up. We're in the nap. <laughs> Trying to wash off my boots. Y'all all right? Oh, man. Now I'm ready. <laughs> Got <'em. laughs> Just in case. He's in there. Falling through a jump. Somebody hit him. Well, I hit him on the first shot, but I, I don't know how good, so. Further back? No, he's like right, right up in here somewhere. Well, just tell me where you want me to go in at. Right there? Like a paintball figure, oh, here we go. I got a blood trail. Yeah. He's definitely hit, dude. Alright, got some more right here. Oh, there we go. This way. He's following this trail. Oh, this way. There we go. It came this way. There's some. There's some. Still got good blood, Dad? Yeah. Oop, sinking, sinking. Cool. Dude, it's got to be around here close. There's a big old heavy blood spit. Look at this. He leaking, leaking. He's zigzagging, bro. Oh, I got him. Got him. He's right there. You yeah. Big? Not big enough to win nothing. All right, boys, well, that's one. Ooh, he's heavy though. That might be the first animal I've ever tracked like that with a blood trail. Man, come get me. Yeah, where are you at? Over here. I am on the way. <laughs> Help is on the way, dear. Not a bad size, dude. See if he can dip his head in the, in the water. Get some of that blood off before we put it in the boat. Yeah, it's got some weight to him. 
try and keep try and keep old uh josh's boat semi clean we can actually um we can put them on the hunt deck here here cam's gonna <laughs> Until a big boat comes back and washes it right off. Heck yeah. Alright, well, that's one. Look, and when we pull in, we, even if we only have one, we gotta go like, like big pip into the front, like pull up right to where they're doing. We got this, y'all. Look, we got this. this. This one beautiful new one. Woo, that scared me. Look at that alligator right there. He scared me, bro. <laughs> that little okay. statue. Well, I mean, completely still. What's up, T boy? You chilling? Yeah, yeah, you just yeah. you just sit tight. Stay there a little bit. Why you running, bro? I'm scared. <laughs> that little bitty lizard. Reverse. Fire reverse, sir. Huh? Oh. Even one before. What you doing out there, man? Oh, jeez. What are you doing back there, cuz? I'm to just get that thing out there. <laughs> I, I mean, the seat's still good. <laughs> just, don't, just don't lean back. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Oh, oh, man. You got juicy there for a second. My life flashed before my eyes. Oh, man. Well, that's crazy how different that sand is in that bayou mud, huh? They ate, bro. <laughs> you hung this morning. And it made for that. Man, we almost died like three times today. <laughs> Dude, what? You saw that? I can hear more over there. Uh huh. Check him out. Boom, right there. That's awesome. Woo, he's gone. Oh, you seen the fish jump? Yep. I think we spooked him. He said, nope, I'm gone. There's some stuff popping in his, in his swirls. Look at it right here in front of us. Dude, I got that on video. Unless he was just awesome. chasing something. What is well, he it? Turn, he's turning. He's doing all kind of maneuvers. I'm to create a dust cloud and bring him in. Look at him all in front of us. Look at him chasing something. Yeah, there's definitely some stuff kicking up right up in there, huh? Watch me pull on like this massive ridge. They're like pushed up against the bank right now. That was a good catch, man. I'm a good fisherman. <laughs> <laughs> Take your life jacket off because your head's so big you can float with it. Oh! Yeah, man? What just. Unless I'm hitting bottom, but. No, that was a hit. That was that had to be a hit. They're chasing fish. I was waiting for that next cast to be a backlash because I was talking. <laughs> Look at that. Oh! See something? I think I'm hitting them. I don't think they're hitting it. Oh! Was that a? F I don't know what's going on. I have an nah, underspan. There's something on there, like not a fish though. Yeah, look. Hit the you bottom, hit some grass. I don't know, man. That's crazy. Oh, that's close. 
Ooh, you can see my you can see my pores. Oh, there we go. All right, guys. Well, we pulling back up to the marina. All we ended up getting was the uh, that one neutra. So we're gonna go do our way in, hand it off to them, and see how many they got in this U-Haul. That's where they're storing them, right there. That's one in Wahoo's, huh? Yeah. Oh, at least somebody got some going on up in here. Oh, that's a big one right there. Yeah, get that buffet on, guys. Look at all that. Get them no, no. This ain't run exactly like you would expect a uh, rodeo to go. Because we pull up to the truck to dump this nutrient in there. Got some people talk to us, but uh, nobody from the place. So apparently, I'm just gonna throw a rat in the back of the truck and uh, head on back to the camp. So, oh, if I can do this without falling in the water, uh, you want to get the pull, pull, pull help? You help man? A little help now? <laughs> Wait. Oh, I got it. I got it. It came back in. All right. So here we go. And that's the pile. That's what everybody's gotten so far. And the word has it that's hardly nothing compared to what they do sometimes. So. I think it's the weather, but uh, we might go head back, get some lunch, take a nap, and I'll probably go do some bank fishing. It's kind of a weird video, all kind of things going on. That was a big one. Y'all close your eyes. Oh, oh my goodness, look at this cluster. Oh, oh, that went right in the draw. Mm-mm. It would be so much easier with a cameraman. <laughs> anyway, getting kind of a late start. It doesn't really matter with Nutra, really. It's 8.30. Finally got a good cold front come through. It's been close to 80, if not 80, for the last uh, two weeks of December. Should be a good day. Water's still a little high. I find the best time for Nutra is when the, the water's really low after we've got a north wind for a while, low tide. And uh, really chilly, them suckers start moving around and really at the edge of the banks and uh, you know, in the water and such. But even if we don't get nutrients, we're getting some mushrooms. I haven't seen a couple on the way in. And uh, the last two weeks has been uh, miserably hot, has also been foggy every morning. So, prime time for the mushrooms. All right, let's go see what we can do. All right, I just seen one going through the brush right here. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get to them though. Running underneath there, but I don't see him now. Probably a mess of them up in there, and I was supposed to bring my knee highs or my thigh highs, I should say. Sure wish they'd let me trap this place. I have a ton of them. There's trails all through here, but he's up in there somewhere. Hmm. No. Moving on. deer i'm just sitting here fishing taking my time easing down the bank see if i can't sneak up on something and lo and behold snuck up on two deer look like all right well i hope it got that uh as soon as i seen the deer take off start talking to the camera my uh gopro shut off but in case it didn't just dump jump two does just uh moseying along drifting down this canal fishing i'm figuring i'll try and just uh see if there's any fish here because i've never fished here i've only hunted here and uh i don't see why there wouldn't be any fish here and uh, I think I seen a Nutra crossing the way over there, but I'm gonna continue to just drift. Nice and quiet like. Maybe we can sneak up on something uh, interesting. I like them two deer. Okay. That was a big one. 
Ooh, I hope this ground's hard enough. That thing was big. I think it stopped right there, but I don't know. What the heck squeaking like that? Maybe it kept going. Oh, nope, I see you. You right there. Y'all close your eyes. Well, I guess if you look at them this way, it ain't so bad, but uh, I mean, that was kind of a point blank shot. We didn't want them going nowhere. That's a big rat though. I wonder how many they got in this grass that just sitting still. I thought he was gonna kick up and run just like a rabbit would. But he bunk hunkered down right there. He might do a little dual action right here. I might walk this and uh, see if I can't find some oyster mushrooms on them trees while doing so. But I was heading right down this canal right here and I seen him just boom, 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 hopping over the grass. And that's one fella, this lunchtime already. That's how long I've been out here. Not shooting nothing. I think we're gonna take a little walk and look see though. If we can get us another one uh, creeping up in this grass, usually there's, usually there's, well, usually there's tons of them, but there's got to be more than one in this little area. There's some old mushrooms. There's some old mushrooms. Ain't no good no more. There's got to be some good ones around here with all these willow trees. A good full before. Kind of makes me wonder how many you could just walk by and not even know the way he ducked down like that and didn't continue running. I could smell the oyster mushrooms, but it's a bunch of old ones. We need to go ahead and make sure these are the right kinds. Well, 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 these are the right kinds. Mm, mm, mm. Don't mind if I do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna let y'all grow. I'm gonna let y'all grow some more. Thank you, Mr. Stump. Now we got a little vegetation to go with our uh, big old rat. That ain't seem to be too many of them rats roaming around, which I do not understand. I know there's bajillions of them. That other one probably did because i seen him run a little bit and then he just kind of disappeared so let's see can't ease up this is gonna be some soft ground oh i got a feeling we're gonna sink as soon as we touch bottom we're gonna go try one boot's already wet battery was dead when i uh tried to jump out and go get some mushrooms and uh it was a little softer than i anticipated all right, well, that's not too bad. I'm sure we can hit a hole. There he is. Did we get him? Oh, I still hear something move. I got him or not. Thought I heard something continue on. That's why I ran around to this side. Oh, there he is. Okay, I see him. I see him, I see him, I see him. I'm trying to get a headshot on him. gonna get to that water. I don't know if this is the same one or not. Dang. Dang. 
We went this way. God, ain't no telling. Oh yeah, this is probably not a good idea. Uh, nope. Yeah, let's not do this. Try and stay on higher ground. We'll take a little bit of a walk. See if we can kick up something, but we're gonna try. Try and stay on higher ground. Both of my boots are full of water. And mud. And everything else. It's getting on 2.30. I think, I think we've had a long day. Maybe we'll see something on the way out. Get you next time, Gadget. Oh, oh, that went right in the draw. Ah. Oh, yeah, now the butt's wet. Now the butt's wet. Let's try and do this. Get this one over the... Oh, nope, still running down the keister. All right, well. Yeah. Okay. Now we got soggy draws and soggy socks. This is, this is wonderful. Man, there's a lot of bird nests. All up in there. Hmm. All right, let me get out of here. It's uh, it's just dark early. If we have any trouble, well, you, you know. Ooh, one more before we go. Come in, huh? Come in, huh? Oh, no. Don't rip my knife and mold them. Ooh, we almost to the dock, but then I seen these just calling my name. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Look like somebody else done got there. These uh, ain't good no more. Let's cut these off maybe. Some more grow there. Oops, I think I just messed that up. Anything else? Huh? No? Ooh, nope, that's the wrong ones. That ain't the right ones. Anything else? Anybody else? No? All right. All right, one more time. I was about to head back and then I just looked right across the bay and uh, I seen some more, but let me show you something. Look what I did, y'all, bro 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 look at this that uh that road with us the whole way back like that kind of got a little bent it's probably like doing this number under the boat oh uh, that was from uh that nutra that we missed that's how long that's been in there good thing it's aluminum uh, it'll bend kind of sorta jeez um what a what a cool yo. All right, let me get these now. Get it nice and close. Oh, look at these. These are pretty. These are pretty. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, all right. Come here. Come here. Oh, my gosh. Can you see that? Okay, how do I get to those? How do I get to them? All right, I gotta get to that. Oh, can we, oh yeah, let's just break the trolling motor. Why not? I'm breaking everything else. All right, let's see. Can I, I don't, nope, nope. All right, I don't want to lose the boat, but I also don't want to, oh my goodness, look at this cluster. All right, all right, all right. Hold the boat with this foot. Uh, cut the mushrooms with the other hand. All right. All right, legs starting to cramp. Can you get out of my way, stick? Oh, thank you. Oh my gosh, look at these. Look at them. Look at them. Look at them all. All right. All right. How do we even... I guess we're just going to start cutting because uh, I don't even know which side they hook to or what. Look at him! Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh man. Look, that one's got that mustard look on them. I don't know what that is. Alright, I'm gonna leave those little ones right there. Maybe they'll grow some more. But we're gonna get these. We're gonna get these. Alright. Whoo! Alright. Whoo! Oh no, I dropped a little one. I dropped a little one. Might be able to get him. Any more? Anybody else hiding? All right, let me get back on the boat. Uh, don't lose the boat. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, wait. All right. Hey. Almost lost that one. 
And they got some more right here. They got some more right here. Come here. Nope, 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 they done fell in the water. Come here, come here. Okay, all right, I think we good. Aye, aye, aye. The other one's got that yellow stuff. I gotta find out what that yellow mustard stuff is. Looks like it's coated in mustard, ready to be dipped and deep fried. Whoo, what this is? Uh, what in the world? Could use that oh yeah that's still good that's still good i could draw that out lag bolts are still good too look at this oh man oh man man these things hurt like little baby cactuses good lord these things are sticking the crap on me all right guys so it is the next evening stayed out on the water a little too late uh yesterday evening looking for those nutra uh we got the one Wife's phone's going off. Missed the other one. Uh, I think I was trying to get a headshot on him, but he was climbing through the bushes and didn't want to mess up the meat. So I took aim at the head and he was running and some other excuses is probably why we missed him. But uh, we did get the one and we got tons of mushrooms. Why is the camera like not? There you go. Stay focused, focused. All right, so we got the mushrooms. I had that soaking in salt water, make sure all the little creepy crawlies and bugs climbed on out of that. And we got some Nutria backstrap because every hunter, trapper, and Hannibal Lecter knows that backstrap is the most tender spot. So we're going to go ahead and fry this up. I'm just going to lightly batter it. Well, let me fix that. I don't remember where I left off. Oh, yeah, we're going to batter these things very lightly so we can get the flavor of the meat and the mushrooms and not just a bunch of batter. Problem is, didn't have any flour because uh, I used all that up, but we do have some Ancient Mama pancake mix. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. I don't know, it looks like flour. All I did was put some of that in this plate right here. A little salt, a little pepper. Tell you what, we're gonna take a little piece of this mushroom right here. Do that, just dip our toe in. Oh yeah, it's ready. Okay, all right. Here goes nothing. I'm gonna take the meat, a little back strap. I'm gonna dab that in there just like so. Not worried about caking it on there. We just wanna uh, just coat it, lightly coat it. We're trying to get the flavor of the meat. And if the meat, if that doesn't come out very good, we got some uh, dipping sauce. We can uh, handle that with real quick. Here she goes. I'm assuming Nutra has to be cooked thoroughly. Looks like chicken. Probably has to be. What in the world is going on? All right, give her a little flippage. Woo Might have that grease a little high. All right, I hope it's cooked all the way. Because the outside looks like it's burning, so we gotta get this thing out of here. I think I had my grease a little too hot. I guess we'll find out. Maybe I'll make the wife taste it first. All right, got that out there now. Let's put in the mushrooms. Same thing, same batter. We're just gonna slide it on in there. Like so. It's all done. I put the Nutra back in the fryer just to make sure. Tank, quit hitting the camera. We're trying to, we're trying to film here. Put the Nutra back in the fryer after the mushrooms just to make sure, because I wasn't sure. I want to make sure it's thoroughly cooked, just in case. But uh, since I know how the mushrooms taste fried, I'm gonna go ahead and taste that first to see if that uh, pancake batter is any different. actually does taste kind of pancakey. I like it. Cut that bad boy open, looks uh, looks done to me. Still smells kind of bad, believe it or not. Mm-mm. Nope, mm-mm. Threw that away. Ooh. Something ain't right. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, normally, Nutra is very delicious. That one had a funny smell to it, and uh, you can taste the smell if that makes any any sense once I bit into it. So I'm not sure. Something might have been wrong with that Nutra, or maybe I took too long to clean it since I was riding in a boat most of the day with it. I'm not really sure. At least the mushrooms are good. A little wowie dipping sauce.
You finished drinking there, Tank, when I'm trying to film an outro? No? Okay. We'll wait. We'll wait. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Where you going, cuz? Well, bring me that Nutria. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Hi, Naked Bone Gang, and welcome back to another video. Today, yeah. We're going nutri hunting again. Seems like you guys have been liking it. The video's been getting lots of views. I love doing it. So I'm just gonna keep on doing it until uh, the end of March when we can't do it no more. Got the uh, the old taxidermy Derek with me. He, uh, we tried to do a squirrel hunt uh, earlier this, well, last month and it didn't work out too well. So if I take him out here and we don't see any nutri, as many nutri as I have been seeing, well, we're not hunting together anymore. But we're gonna see what we can do. We got Waylon, he's running around the parking lot somewhere. But beautiful weather, sun's out. Again, it's not as quite as cold as I like it and the water's not quite as low as I like it for hunting nutria, but uh, that didn't affect us at all last time. So let's get out on the water. Go we'll knock down some of these rats. Straight ahead, look, straight ahead on that thing. You gotta, yeah, you got the scoop, you might get a. Did you hit him at all, or you don't know? Oh yeah, I see it. He did that time. All right. That looks like a big one too. Yeah. All right. Trying to get that one swimming, but it, I wasn't trying to shoot you either. <laughs> on, I need to reload. I only got, I only got one bullet in that foot. Dude, it was like probably four or five, right? Yeah. But that's one, two. Yeah, that's water, boy. <laughs> Where you going, cuz? Where you going, pepperoni? You gonna figure it out? Yeah, the big one went back there. Yeah. Well, and bring me that nutria. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, buddy, get it. Hunt it up. Hunt it up. Hunt it up. Well, then, over. Hunt it up. Good boy. Hunt it up. Hunt it up. Hunt it up. Hunt it up. Wrong way, buddy. Whaling. Over. No, over. <laughs> what are 
are you doing? <laughs> Dude, what are you doing? He's trying to get back up. You're gonna drown yourself like that? Boy, you dumb as a brick. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, dude. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, you're a trip. Come on back. Come on, get it. Hey, good boy. Good boy. Get it. Good boy. All right. Good. Good boy. Good. Bring. 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 Bring, bring it, good boy, bring it. Bring, no, you're supposed to bring it. Okay, it's kind of big. I think I got out the water for you, what more than you want? All right. Come on, buddy. Grab my arm if you need to. All right, come on, Whalen. Come on, Pupper. Here. Here. Good boy. Here. That's not. That's not how you do it, buddy. Come on. Come on, you got it. You're going to figure it out. Come on. Here. Here. Try to get on sturdy ground first. All right, good. Here. 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 Come on, place. Now, place. Place. Waylon, here. Place. Place. Good. Here, here. Good. Then so we gonna get it figured out, huh, Pup Pup? We gonna get it figured out, huh, Pup Pup? Ah, you get me all wet. Yeah, he picked it up. Yes, I see him. Oh. Well, there's one swimming out there, straight ahead of us. Yeah, we can get through those, really. Got him. Nice shot. I don't think that was the same one, but who knows? Yeah, I see him. Alright. That's two more. Hey, gonna make this a quick trip. Where's he at? Oh, I see the blood. I ain't never seen him sink like that. He must still be kicking. Hey, grab his tail and just chunk him in. Woo. Well, in here. 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 No, he's a, I ain't never seen him sink like that. Is he straight ahead or? Let me try that one again. Oh, there was another one just jumped in. That one? Where's my dog? Oh, I see him. No, I gotta take this jacket off.
by it. Yeah, I'll see you. Right above them. him swimming you see the wake on the other side probably oh there he is yep ah dang it I rushed it <laughs> might come up again and quick draw my growl over here can't even get the camera on. He's knocking them dead. That's it. Yep. There we go. Let's go get him and then we'll come back for it. Well, you see him, man? Uh, oh, yeah, I see him. into that water that a minute uh, ah oh look hey his head sticking right right there i think it's hard enough to walk on this is where we walked last time if not it make good video Well, that's all 10 and it is only, it's not even 10 o'clock. This is the quickest trip I've had yet. And I was thinking, you know, it was gonna start slowing down towards the end of the winter time, but I guess, guess I was wrong. And I forgot to mention in the beginning of the video, cause I was so excited about getting out here. I'm gonna put Derek's information down in the comments below if you wanna get something taxidermied mounted or I don't know whatever the proper word it is, but he's the one that did my goose and he's got that coyote that I trapped. Uh, he's working on that right now. So I will definitely put that up on the channel once we get it back. But uh, yeah, I guess that's going to wrap this one up. Nice, short and sweet. All 10 and no time flat. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't. And uh, let me know if you're tired of seeing Nutria videos. I'm sure not tired of, 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 of shooting them. The videos or the Nutria. Okay, bye. Hmm. I got two over there. We're going to try and get to somehow. So they actually had another one swim up while we were coming up here. I think there's, there's at least at least three, if not four. So I'm going to sneak up to this tree right here. See if we can't get them. Alright. You see the, the one facing this way? Mm -hmm. You shoot him, I'll shoot the one facing this way. On the count of three. One, two, three. Thank you.
Hi, Make and Bone Gang, and welcome back to the final hunt of the duck season. Very sad. Today we got Spence and Lucas. We're, uh, we're gonna try and knock these teal down. The last time we came out here a couple days ago was me and Lucas. About 50 teal came in in separate little packs, but they came in right at shooting light and just buzzed us, didn't even stop. Couldn't even get the gun up in time. They just came in so fast and it was still so dark, couldn't even see them coming. Hopefully we'll be prepared for them today. Hopefully we can get a few to land. Uh, I put out the mojo today, the spinning wing, so hopefully that'll, that might draw them in a little bit better, but we'll see. And then after that, if we don't uh, limit out on ducks, which is highly unlikely, maybe we'll try and get some of them nutria again. Cause if you've seen last video, I think it, it might have been the last video, I don't, I don't know. But if you've seen that video where me and Lucas came out, we ended up getting a two man limit of nutria because the teal didn't die. So stay tuned. Now there's more of them. Look at this. Why aren't y'all back? Tweety Bird. More Tweety Birds. We're getting every kind of bird but the ducks. Please. Alright, so as I kind of expected, we didn't get to shoot any teal. We've seen a couple of them fly over, not nearly as many as the last time we've seen. And I definitely wasn't expecting to see a billion of whatever kind of bird those were and the uh, landed in front of us. And then uh, we've seen pretty much every other bird except what we came out here to shoot. Kind of happened the way I figured it, so now it's time to go get on some nutria, just like the last time. And they certainly have enough out here, so let's get after it. That's mom, right there. Look, there he is. Get him before they go in the water. Oh crap. Alright, that was done. There's gonna be more in the uh in that grass ball. It probably ran right back into that uh them cattail. Is it dead already? That might have been it then. I only seen the two. There's one right there and there's one right there in front of us. I'll grab the other one off the land. Alright. I wouldn't. See that I, I wouldn't. You're gonna sink right there. You guys brought your waders though, right? No, I'll let you do it. I told you that. <laughs> Alright, that's two. And we ain't even that's where we were duck hunting. Get ready to shoot, he's gonna try and dive. see if he'll uh yeah we had <laughs> we had a tough time trying to figure him out once they die so if i shut the engine off he might come back look i can see his ripple right there he's about to hit them lilies you see it see if he comes out yep oh, his head just poked out oh we just went back under and nothing oh, there's one right there I had to hit him. Oh yeah. That was a big old boy. <laughs> How did I not knock him dead? Keeping it clean. Where are you shooting? He's in the lilies, no. <laughs> you were shooting over him, I think. And watch the blind. <laughs> huh? Uh, let's see. There's, I don't. There's two over yeah, there. I'm looking at that. I'm trying to figure out. Look, we can probably. Get on land. You could probably walk from this way. Hmm. I got two over there. 
but we're gonna try and get to somehow. All right, well, we see two that are over there on the, uh, kind of on the bank. I guess they're taking a nap. They didn't wake up after we shot that one, shot at that one a bunch of times, and then struck up the motor again. They didn't move, so we're gonna try and sneak around here, around these trees right here, see if we can't get them slipping. Yeah, get you some more shots, because, uh, first three don't count. <laughs> <laughs> Crap, did I bring extra shots? So they actually had another one swim up while we were coming up here. I think there's, there's at least at least three if not four. I gotta sneak up right here and get him. So I'm gonna sneak up to this tree right here. See if we can't get him. You see the, the one facing this way? Mm -hmm. You shoot him or shoot the one facing this way on the count of three. One, two. All right, that's at least, I guess, two down. You got two of them? Two or three of them. Yeah, I think the first one I shot is right there on the edge, and there's two little ones behind it. And that other big one right there, I don't know if he went down because he seen us coming, or he was just swimming around. I think he was just swimming around. I was waiting for him to come back up, but he never came back up. All right, well, we can make it real interesting and try and climb on that tree right there to get him. You're kind of a jungle man if you want to try it. <laughs> I'll film it. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, you got it. Oh, he's right there. You can do it. No, see this little island right here, this last one? I see a little oh, bump yeah, right yeah, on it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what'd you do? Oh, shit. Hit him again! You oh, you got him that time. Did he drop a whole shell in there? Yeah, <laughs> it went closed all the way or something? He got a little oh, nub on the back of his tail. Snip on his tail. Lost a piece of that tail right there, boy. Reload, boys. Is that a coot decoy? Any of you boys missing a coot decoy? There's another one way up ahead in that little pond. He either went under, he went to them lilies, so I don't know if he's up or not. He was swimming straight through that. Hey, you. Yeah. Hit him again. That dude's always quick to jump out the boat. He's just like my dog. So that is what, eight now? That's eight. That's eight. Let the record show that Lucas killed that nutrient. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the, uh, the old PTO switch doesn't want to work anymore. So we're just going to drift here for a little bit. Spence, you stay on the lookout. And I'm going to see if I can't work on this switch. Always something, boys. Always something. It's a good thing I 
keep a spare right there in the old bag in the boat just for such an occasion. Hear that? We're in business, boys. And we've seen a. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. Come on. No, no, you got it. Well, I kind of hope we don't pull up on any nutria because uh, me and Spencer's drinking coffee and Lucas is over here reading his ammo box. <laughs> None of us are prepared. I see the lilies moving. He swam right behind this and went under and he moved under those lilies. So. Oh, he must be going back that way. Yep, there he is. Oh, he went under. Come on, pop your head one more time. Yeah. Mm, well, all right. He's on land and the water. Oh, I see him. Dang it. Oh, I got him. I hit him. Yeah. I think you got him that time. I was just about to squeeze the trigger and all of a sudden I said kablow! We'll probably walk right here and get him. Yeah. If not, we'll have to go around. Got him that time, Spence. <laughs> right square in the noggin. <laughs> yeah, you'll be able to walk straight and then hop the little island to the right. If wow. not, I'll send my wow. nutria dog. <laughs> <laughs> Lucas, back! Woo! <laughs> you better be careful, <laughs> boy. <laughs> you better be careful. Got him, got him, got him. That's a good size boy right there. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> I love how y'all grab them by like the skin. <laughs> like I, normal people grab them by the tail. Well, it's hard to get the tail when they're in the water. Yeah. All right. That's a mess of them. Gotta try that. Well, that's three shots. Did you get it? That's a big one too. What well, that is, 11? What happened? It's a little soft. Did you fall? You, you stuck that spin. Just don't put your barrel in the mud. It's a little late for that. Uh-uh. There he goes. Come on back now, you hear? Let's get back in the boat where it's safe. Yeah, they get, it gets soft quick. Oh, it'd be like <laughs> I fell and I went. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I'd take any more shots out of that. Might have to clean that out. There's one. There's no way. Is he dead? Oh, oh, okay. He's hurting. All right, you got him. All right. I was about to say, dude, I know I hit him. Don't mind those branches. I can't believe he didn't just drop. I thought I hit him square in the head. Question is, is this gonna hold us? Don't step right there. <laughs> <I was about> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I was about to tell you to jump to the high part. Walk wide, because I don't I didn't see him come to the ground. Lucas stand right there because they might come out in the water. Did you get the big one? I got the big one. Alright, well I'll leave it at that. I won't get another big one as the last one. Is it dead? Yep. Yeah, that's dead dead. Alright, well come on, let's go. Got one more. Where's it at? Oh, okay. Oh, we better get it at the boot. Oh. It's gonna float to the boot. About to put it head underwater. Come on out of here. That couldn't have been better. <laughs> uh, yep. Got it right in the dome, too. All right, that's 14. One more. And then it's time to start skinning. Jesus. Yes, oh, there he goes. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I'm out of bullets. Oh, no. He's in the water? Head up. Oh. 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 See, I ain't going to show him. I can show him this way on camera. I ain't showing you the other way because uh, I had to get a little up close and personal with this guy. All right, so we made it back to the house, or should I say, I made it back to the house. Lucas had to go to Mississippi. He was going on a camping trip with his girlfriend, and Spence has a newborn at the house and another child and a wife. So that pretty much leaves me uh, cleaning these by myself. But that's all right. Spence has uh, got a couple kids and a, and a wife that he had to get home to. He ended up taking two of them. Uh, I didn't want to, he didn't want to take too many more than that because he's never cleaned one before. So I'm going to give him two to do this little trial run. I'm sure that'll take uh, quite a while to do because I remember my first time cleaning animals didn't go uh, all that smooth. So give him two to test it out on, get a little practice in. And then, uh, like I said, Lucas was going camping. So he couldn't exactly uh, pile those in his camper and whatnot. But that's all right. That just leaves more meat for me. Got to fill up that freezer. Got it all cleaned out and working again yesterday. So... Got the, uh, the freezer in the nest already chock full of nutria and goose and duck and so on and so forth. Now I've got to switch to the deep freezer get that thing filled up. So, well, this is where I'm going to leave you guys because i got a lot of work ahead of me. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you liked the video. Subscribe if you haven't. Again, we're trying to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year. So, tell your friends, tell your family, you know, any hunting and fishing folks that might enjoy the video. I very much appreciate it. Catch you on the next one.